Of course it's snowing because why wouldn't it be? Just our luck, eh? I'll be honest, I can't really hear you over the sound of the water. Uh. What? What's going on here? Alright, so... That wasn't you, was it? Uh, don't look at me. Was it you? No. Alright then. So, speaking of bats and vampires and other strangeness... There you get going, you. Are you going to tell me who your contact in the Dawn Guard is? I... Can I ask why you want to know? Because Fort Dawn Guard is in my territory? Is Wolf going to try something? That's a good question. Don't. Good. Yes, Fort Dawnguard is in your territory. And that's why I want to know why you want to know. In case I have to keep her safe? That's fair. Alright, uh, the name's Mordgood. She's actually a Dunma, so don't let the name fool you. A Dunma named Mordgood. Yeah, she's that, uh, she's the Harbinger's granddaughter, so I wouldn't try anything strange. Oh, I see. Can I ask about that? Uh, about what? Why you seem to have such a beef with her. <laughs> That's an apt turn of phrase for that. Uh, situation. Beef. Uh. Yeah, I used to work with her ex-husband. Oh. Small world. Yeah, small continent anyway. Yeah, I used to work with her ex. I uh, kind of heard about all of the... All the crap that happened. Apparently he found a book that everyone assumed was cursed. And I mean, fair enough, it did have kind of a strange aura about it. He brought it with him when he left from Soul Slime. Apparently Armvita thought... He'd woken something up. And banished him. Just straight banished him without listening to what he had to say. I see. He was a mage, I take it? 
Yeah, he was. So, the last time we met, the Harbinger and I, she made it very clear what she thinks of our mages. So, you know, I kind of figure I'm on her shit list, shall we say. So yeah, I I did know I hmm, I did know about more good. Oh, owl. I was going to say something along the lines of having family is rather difficult when you're as old as I am. Yeah, that's... Are we seriously going to have to deal with a dragon? Today? Or is it just the one that likes to hang around Eastmarch? Dragon! <laughs> Ooh. Eh. Let's go with that. Oh, hello. That's a strange one. I actually managed to hit him. Ooh. Hey, Dom. Oh, there you are. Oh, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, he's on the ground, good. You know what, I don't really care. All right, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. Okay. All right. Where's the bastard? There's the bastard. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, this is nuts. Hold on. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, right, Banner? What? Okay. We have unexpected allies. I think. No, not an ally at all. No, I don't think so. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's very bad. Ooh, that's really bad. All right. You mind? There. And do you mind? Well, all things considered, <laughs> it was a very, very interesting sense of humor. 
Miss Gold. So that's the last thing I expected today. You're looking a little toasty around the edges. <sighs> Just call me Crispy Welk. Crispy Welk. Perhaps I should call you that instead of Sparky. Honestly, anything would be better than Sparky, but... Oh good, looks like that dragon took care of the... the huh, the troll that's usually around here. Yes indeed. <laughs> Alright! I think the dragons are getting stronger. Although that didn't really look like the ones that usually fly around, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Oh, my heart. Oh! I can feel my heart! Okay, that's... That's new. It isn't particularly fast, but the fact that I can feel it after having, you know, not felt it for so long... That's a little unsettling. Yes, it does take some getting used to. Uh, let's steer around that city, town, whatever. Oh, I can feel my heart. Nern is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? There's a bear somewhere. Somewhere that I can't see because... Undergrowth. Oh, I see him. Alright. Uh, where are we going anyway? Just right around that way. Alright. Here's what we'll do. Ooh, it's deeper than I thought, and colder. <gasps> oh, stunning stones. Oh. This is gonna be that way. And I'm pretty sure it's not that place, and I would like to steer around it. So it looks like more swimming in our future. Or maybe not. Yep. Oh! Really? Okay. Well this is gonna be... A bit of a bitch. Pardon my alien in. To be fair, since we are going up against a fellow vampire... Perhaps the sun coming up will actually work in our favor. I do hope so. Hello. So it's going to be up in here somewhere. And then, of course, we'll have to find somewhere to bunker down for the day because I don't plan on burning up any more than I already have. You know, I was joking when I was talking about you standing in front of a fire-breathing dragon. Yeah, I wasn't so much. Is that the place? No. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh well. I 
I'm sure I'm going to stumble on it some way. Somehow. Somewhere. Ooh, this is going to be this is going to be close. All right. Well, you're the one in heavy armor. What is a hag raven doing down here? All right. Ah, yeah, the sun's coming up a little quickly. Redwater Den is around here if you'd like to go hunker down. I think that's probably the best idea. Kind of rude. Okay, let's not get distracted. Let's just... Uh... Turn the eyes off. Figure out where we are. Oh... Bollocks. Uh, Dom, is that you? Oh, I heard the crossbow firing and I was like, what's going on? Yes, that was me. Ooh. Oh, ah, uh, yes, yes, Ingrath was not lying when he said... I will see more sunrises and they'll be an absolute pain every single time. Hmm. I mean, it is quite pretty. It's also a bit of a pain. Really. And of course I can't aim because I can't see. Ooh. Ah, look at it this way. You're in entirely heavy armor. I am not. Yikes. Alright, yeah, let's just get inside and, uh... Go deal with vampires when it's not so bright. Somebody help! Perfect. Aha! Alright, I think it's safe. Uh, which means... Ooh, full moons! Let's hope the companions are, uh, not out and about. Or not, you know what I mean. And you know they're all werewolves, so, you know. Well, not all of them. There are some humans among them. And elves. True. Ah, right, so it's going to be up in here somewhere. The question is... Which way am I going? I should be looking right at it. Huh. Well, he certainly picked a good spot at- Ah, uh, there it is. It's going to say hide. And barely find it up in all these trees here. And rocks, obviously. It does kind of blend in. It does, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Dawn guard. Stay back, Dawn. I'm gonna fling some runes. You're a nasty man, aren't you? Bastard. Oh, I think you'll find... My parents were quite married when they had me. Oh. Ah, come on. Oh. You might want to get out of the way. You were saying? Well done. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. What do you want to bet? 
they were here for these morons up here. Uh, let me turn it down since we're going to be in close quarters, it looks like. Don't try to magic me, you damn wizard. Never should have come here. Over here. Ah! Knock knock. You picked a bad time to get lost. Oh. You really could have done that so much better. Yeah. Yeah, I could have. Oh well. Oh, howdy, friends. I've been rounding around too long. You really expect that to work? Whoa! Not of course, campaign. Doesn't matter. Done and dusted. Vampire dusted. I keep thinking I need to pick up food, but I don't. Alright. Taken care of. So, that would be a favour, and another favour, frankly, because I told you about Mordgood. So... You owe me. I do. How would you like me to repay you? Um... I'm sure I'll think of something. Don't take that the wrong way, obviously. You, you're kind of barking up the wrong tree there, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't going to get any ideas. You are, what they call in my homeland, a strict sword swallower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's me. Um, so, yeah, I will keep you posted about Ingrath when I know where he is. Cayman, sorry. It's not like there's anybody around, but... Uh, thanks. I will leave your territory. I won't get into any other trouble here. I hope. I think. And I'll let you get on with your business. Thank you. Good luck with the college, and... With, you know, Ingrath. You take care of him, alright? Otherwise... We'll be getting better acquainted, and not in a good way. Yeah, I, I kind of got that impression. Don't worry, I'm... Any advice... with him? He's kind of... <sighs> I wouldn't say we're having problems already, but we're, uh... We're both adventuring types, and that doesn't really make for good relationships. Um, as far as I've heard, so... Just give him space. And be patient with him. He doesn't open up easily. That goes entirely counter to the very first conversation we ever had. I mean, he doesn't open up about his past easily. You'll notice he did get close to you quite quickly, but... It'll take something special for him to tell you who he used to be. You mean besides a smuggler? Well, yes, besides that. Right. I'll try not to overthink it, even though that's kind of what I do. I'll see you around. I will see you around. You know where to find me. I... I do, mostly. Have a good one. Have a good night, Arden. She's a terrifying woman. She really, really is. I can't believe you can see Azura from here. Okay. Enough remarking about that. Let's just get going, huh? Hopefully not run into any more Dawn Guard. Or bears. Or dragons. Or trolls. Thalmor. Dawn Guard. 
I already mentioned on guard. There are a lot of ways to die out here. Feels kind of good knowing I have someone to go home to. Nice. Bangs. Ah ha. I'm actually surprised I haven't bitten the inside of my lip yet. Two trolls. Right. Glad I didn't come up that way. You know, I kind of thought I was... Im oh, that's nice. I kind of thought I was imagining things when they got a little... say, proud? But no, I'm not imagining things. I'm just... Fangs. Oh, I should have... Alright. Excuse me, sir. Ah, damn wizard. Keep your spells off of me. Madam, sorry. Keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I just did that. 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 Ooh, okay. All right. Well, this is going to be a party, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let me just... Yeah. I feel so much better. And also so much worse. I didn't kill her, so that's good. I was kind of afraid for a second there. I'm a little bit ashamed of how good that felt, frankly. Not the killing the troll thing, but, you know. Arden, reel it in. Reel it in. Okay. Talk to Urag. And then... I still need to have... Uh, oh. Focus. I still have a Dwemer Cube for Septimus. Hey, Verolda. She was staring at me. I'm acting weird. Okay. Let's try not to act too weird. Be weirder than normal. Can't believe I did that. I can't believe it worked. Did it kill her? Ooh. 
Oi. Right, it's the middle of the night. What are the chances that Rag's actually going to be awake? Let's find out. I have gone entirely the wrong way. Nice. Oh, that's fine. Uh, no, Urag. Just an altmer that I've never seen before. That bodes well. Uh, yeah, I'm. I don't even trust my vampire-ness to get me down that. Just go the right way and pretend we didn't see it. I don't really, uh, you know, trust her as far as I could probably throw her. And considering what I am, I suspect I could throw her pretty far, or uh, farther than I could otherwise. Go back again in the morning. When her eyes awake. Let me give her a chance to go to class or something. What is she doing in the middle of the night? I have so many questions. Hey, Frolda. Forgot what time it was. Oh! I, we haven't had any couriers come by and drop stuff. Sorry, I'll let you, uh... Do your thing. I am acting much weirder than normal. Evening, Arcano. Or, well, probably early morning by now. Gets a little easier to think about him. A little easier every day. I keep waiting for the anger to kick in. Like the real anger. I know I probably shouldn't forgive him. Honestly though. I don't know. I'm I'm honestly just still thrown off about Well, A, you haven't just bitten somebody. I'm in route. And B. What, I ask, are the odds that an Ultima student with a great sword. What is a mage? Oh, this is going to be bad. Hmm. Our gaze ball does freeze me. <laughs> Ooh. Bracing. That's bracing. Ooh, I don't care if I'm a vampire. That's still not. Keep doing it pleasant in the slightest. What are the chances that an Ultima student shows up? Uh. How long has it been? Let's not think about that too long. After I kill the uh, Thelmore advisor to the Archmage. I'm. I don't know, it just seems suspicious to me. Oh! Oh, okay, that was bright. 
Septimus is awake. Excellent. Let's stay on the path. Hello. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. That is what the top level means. I have the lexicon for you, by the way. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Uh... I'm not sure that that is going to work considering... None of those elves were descended from Balmer? Uh, or oh, Dunmer? My bad. But, I mean, if... If it works, it works. Uh, can I ask, because I didn't last time, why you're so eager to open this thing? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. Huh? I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. Uh, who? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know, until I first spoke to him. He asks a price, to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two, for the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here, to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening! Yeah, um, hmm. Maddening indeed. You think the heart of Lorcan is in here? Yeah, I am pretty sure that's not the case, but... Yeah, you know Daedric Princes have been known to lie, right? Anyway, I have better things to do, and I'd rather get back home before sun rise. <laughs> okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh. All right, keep your tentacles. Da ooh. 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 All right, and uh, ooh. Mm, didn't Sithis ever tell you to keep your tentacles to yourself? Come closer, bask in my presence. Oh, I'd rather not. Thanks. Who mm, keep your distance with those things? You, you. All right, what are you? Who? I have an idea, but who? Are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. Ooh, don't touch me. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. Oh, this is just because I read the couple of Elder Scrolls, isn't it? What? Look, I'm not. I'm not going to tell you 
anything? Just so you know, I kind of have a... What do you want exactly? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Ah, I have kind of got a lot ooh, <laughs> on my plate right at the moment. So, uh, if it's all the same to you, I would rather not. Uh, try again in a hundred or so years. I'm sure I'll still be around by then. Be warned. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. Mmm, that's creepy. Ooh. I wasn't expecting to have a chat with Amaya's Mora today. Ouch. Though to be fair... I can kind of see why he'd want to get into my head. There's a lot locked away in there. Ooh. <laughs> you know, if it weren't for the fact that I'm pretty sure Mafala is the one who created spiders, well, that's ironic, isn't it? Okay. I don't think on that too long. Oh. If not for the fact that I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Long story short, I believe I've just stumbled across something that makes me... Uh, it gives me the willies more than spiders do. And that is just the, the slimy... multi-eyed visage of Hermaeus freaking Mora. Huh. You know, I think when Hagen turned me he said something about how I now have an eternity to learn whatever I want, and that has been a tempter to a great many scholars. I'm sure it has. I mean, what am I going to do with eternity? Well, besides... Oh, I have to... I forgot about that. Oh, no wonder he called me mortal. Uh, when your mask spell is so good it can fool a Daedric Prince. Or he's just humoring me. I think the latter is probably more likely. Let me just... re-up on that. You know, I, I, 
I wanted to summon some fog. I didn't really want to bring the snow along with it, but hey, I, I, you know, I guess I'm. Oh, I'm real off, aren't I? Just a little bit shaken. But yeah, I just realized that spending an eternity with Ingrath is not. I don't know. It makes me feel a little warmer. Maybe we will. I don't know what we'll do. Uh, besides rebuild this place. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him what he wants to do. <laughs> Good morning! Maybe we'll go back to the, uh... Ooh, that's nice. Back to the Forgotten Vale and just poke around for a while. <laughs> I wonder if he found that Gleam Blossom yet. Probably shouldn't go poking around in his things. To be fair, I wasn't poking around in his things, just stuck it on the top of his bag, so, you know. Whether or not it gets jostled around. It's uh, not my fault. Okay. Is Rag awake? That is the question. He is. And she's still there. Give me just a moment with you. Hi, sorry. Uh, are you new here? I am indeed. Are you one of Urag's assistants? Uh, in a manner of speaking, I suppose. Ardinius Welk, Archmage. Pleased to make your acquaintance, miss. Oh, my apologies, sir. Uh, I didn't realize. Master Tolfdier said you were off looking into something about a Dwemer ruin. Yeah, it ended up being an extended venture. A bit messy, mostly full of farmer and spiders. So what brings you to Winterhold? Studying abroad. I spent the last year with a College of Whispers signer show down in southern Cyrodiil. I suppose you're from Cyrodiil, correct? That's me. Let me guess. The old Mary Dominion let you out on a permit. Something like that. I confess I'm a bit new to the whole thing. I was supposed to meet with an advisor here, but... I heard about what happened, mostly. I see the professors have been gossiping while I was away. Oh no, nothing like that, sir. I just... It's alright. It's not as though that business with the eyes is secret. Kind of had to hide something like that when it and the college's response killed a few people in town. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Eh. I'm doing what I can to make amends. Honestly, I should probably be sending Arniel down to help rebuild, since... You well, know, we won't go there. I did notice your absence. What is it you do, anyway? Right at the moment, I'm trying to finance the aforementioned restoration project. I'm not quite sure what my predecessor did, but he didn't strike me as a field researcher so much. I'm not sure if the Sarthal thing was his idea or Toltier's. Have you found anything interesting so far? In Sarthal? I suppose it would depend on your definition of interesting. What's your background? Illusion magic, mostly. Some destruction. I do have more of a historical background than anything, however. And you came here because you were assigned, or because you picked this place? Well, I attempted to get the attention of a Telvani scholar so that I could learn about necromancy, but that didn't go over well with my superiors. <laughs> Actually, I was in Valenwood for my first assignment abroad. Have you ever seen the Aeliad Ruins there? No, but I know of them. I've... Well, I've kind of always wanted to go there myself, but that's a strict border to try to cross. My request got turned down back in my College of Whispers days because my father was a legionnaire. Apparently quite a good one if you warranted that reaction. I'm sorry to hear that. When I go home again, perhaps I'll put in a good word for you. Nah. 
<laughs> I suspect if I ever go to Valenwood, it'll be years and years from now once all this Thalmor business has calmed down somewhat. But I probably should let you get back to your studies, huh? Perhaps. I was just looking for something to, shall we say, augment Master Nellorin's lessons. They're quite... Well, not to be rude so early on, but... If you're talking about his lecture on the Standing Stones? Yes, sir. Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Just because Iskramor didn't write about them doesn't mean they weren't around. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Perhaps you should give lectures here instead. If I thought I had anything worthwhile to teach, I would. It was good to meet you. I know things can't be easy for you being as far north and with politics being what they are. <laughs> if you ever have problems, well, I'd say bring them to me, but I'm never around, so... I suppose Tolftir and Urag would be the next best. For Alder, too, if you don't mind standing out in the cold with her. Thank you for your concern, Archmage. So far, the other students have been nothing but kind to me. Good to hear. Good luck with your studies, miss. <laughs>